Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamaz, in the Minecraft Survival Manual. In this Minecraft guide, Frilioth and I are slowly taking you through all the things you need to know about Survival Minecraft in Minecraft 114, the Village and Pillage update. We have gone through all kinds of stuff, and now we are preparing for the big fight we're preparing for the ender dragon it is coming it is literally upon us we already found the stronghold now we've got to prepare and clear it now i have spent the last goodness only knows how long mining like a madman for diamonds <laughs> fighting mobs for tons of xp crafting diamond gear to keep me protected and safe and enchanting like a sorcerer on Red Bull. And you can see, look, I have now got full diamond gear. I've got some, okay, I've not got all the tools. These aren't the perfect enchantments, but we've got blast protection, respiration, unbreaking. I've got unbreaking, more blast protection. I've got protection, fire protection. I've got all sorts, feather falling. That might be quite handy, given that I'll probably fall over. I've got sweeping edge, sharpness, and unbreaking. I've got efficiency for fortune and unbreaking. And I've got unbreaking and power. And even my shield, look, I'm breaking through in projectile protection for I am, relatively speaking, as protected as I have ever been on this world. And it's time to take that protection and go and clear out that stronghold. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous, but it is time. So turn yourself around, man, because you have got to go. Have a quick check. Don't be scared. Get your shield in your hand. Oh, before you do it, I almost went off half cocks then. Before you do it, we've got some things we need to do. I've got some stuff I need to take. So get yourself some torches, get yourself some potions, some golden apples, a bed, water bucket, and these items here. Now, these items are actually very important. We are going to make a special kind of chest. Now, this chest is made of obsidian and an eye of ender. You can see here it's called an ender chest. So we'll have that ender chest. And the thing about an ender chest is, once you've got one, you can actually pretty much never lose your stuff again. So I'm going to put the ender chest down there. And you can see, look, it's got all this swirly, whooshy, purpley stuff going around it. And when I open it, listen to this. Really deep groan. Now, if I have another ender chest, which I'm going to do now, obsidian around as if it's a normal chest, I have ender in the middle, another ender chest. Whatever I put in this ender chest here, if I put this other ender chest anywhere, absolutely, in any dimension, in any world, it will have the stuff inside it. And I'm going to prove it by putting half, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put four of the cobblestone in there. And when I get to the stronghold and actually get to the portal and have cleared it i'm going to lay down this second ender chest and once i've done that i'll open it and you will see four cobblestone waiting to be used in fact what i'm going to do is put all the things that i don't need for the actual fight inside here which is i think pretty much that's it uh yep i'm going to need possibly 12 um eyes of ender up to 12 i'll have those and I'll keep these 10 just to make sure I'm going in the right direction when I go and find that stronghold again. Oh, and what else haven't I got? I haven't got a shovel in case I have to dig. I'm not going to need an axe. Am I going to need an axe? Oh, I'll take an axe anyway. Why not? Let's get going, people, before I change my mind. So it has been a bit of a trot. I've got to be honest with you. We've had several encounters, as you can see. I is the sun going down or is it about to rain? I just felt like it got a little bit dark. Anyway, you can see here, before I left, I made some little adjustments to where the stronghold entrance is for me. Oh, oh and it's being guarded by a creeper. We can uh, get rid of you, pally pal. Oh, I missed. There's something about walking through a desert when you're worried about creepers because literally every cactus looks like it is a uh, creeper. So yeah, I made this tall pillar of cobble last time and I've made access a little bit easier in that we've got a set of steps that goes down like this. And then from here, I can lob myself off into that water 
and come back up on the ladder so I can just jump down and I don't get any damage whatsoever because full damage is negated when you fall into water and when I want to get back up all I do is I come up here and there we go and I'm back up the stairs again so that's the theory anyway let's see whether or not in practice it works because now I need to come down here and dig myself back into the stronghold because it is time to get fighting and fighting quite hard I think there's literally no point in putting it off Let's see what is the other side of this wall. There's going to be stuff. Although, at the moment, it's hiding. This area appears to still be safe as a result of my, uh, well, my lighting it up, frankly. So I'm, I'm just going to get a torch. and I'm going to pop a torch there to make that bit lit as well. I'm actually going to mine out the door because, as you saw, I struggled to get, did I? Was this the one that actually led to nowhere? Oh no, this was the one that led to the library. I'm just going to have another look around just to check I didn't miss an exit. I don't think I did. It's quite unfortunate. Normally in a library you get chests and you can open them up and they've got lovely... Oh, what's that in there? Oh, no, there is a chest. It's over there. Abermans, find the chest. There we go. Right, so in the chest... Oh, we've just got three boring books, so I'm not going to take those because I don't want to use that the inventory space. So it's come back down again. Through here, let's mine out this door. There is nothing. So we've saved ourselves a little bit of effort there. I'm just going to get let's get that torch like that. got another staircase down downward staircases are normally very very good I'm gonna mine out the door because then I know that that's no good either that's the door okay there's a door there let's put a torch there a torch there what's through there let's mine that out pop a torch in there Nothing of any significance there. Light up literally everywhere when you're going around a stronghold because you never ever know. Right, that's just a door that's in the way. You never ever know when something is going to creep up on you like that. For example, looks very spooky. But like I said, down is good. You want to be going down because down is where the good stuff is except when it's not. Can you hear that kind of squeaking noise? That's the silverfish. The silverfish are not a lot of good to anybody, unfortunately. You break a block, they live in these blocks. If you break the block, they pop out of the block. Sometimes they go into the next block, and sometimes they come to try and eat your face. Now, they're not very uh, strong in themselves, but they tend to come in numbers. And when they come in numbers, you have a little bit of a problem. And there is very little as embarrassing as being killed by a silverfish. Is that another library? I think it is. Let's just pop that. Let's go down here. Well, something's tried to have a go at me. Okay, because I had my shield up, it's all good. Can you see here the silverfish got... Had a go. Please don't die of a silverfish when I just said it was really embarrassing. That would be appallingly awful. Right, so let's pop some torches back. Ah, oh, you horrible, horrible child. Get rid get away, get away. Right, let's get light this place up as much as we can. Shoot the creeper in the foot. That's the coward's way out. There we go. Creeper well and truly shot in the foot i'm over spamming the torches there is a load of skellies that side there is another creeper there he's just the other side of that hole ha oh, ha this is like proper gunfight. Oh, there we go. That's aim.
Gotcha. Right, so excellent fighting technique, Avabads. You are just supreme. However, there is a creeper round the back here. Oh, there's loads of stuff all over there as well. Right, let's kill that. That's the prison. I do love a good prison. Those creepers can stay there. Oh, I wish I had a name tag. That would be fun. But we don't actually have to kill them because they're totally trapped and they'll probably despawn. This is... There we go. Let's get that. <laughs> Every time we close the door, he can't get us. There we go. Right, and we're going to mine this door out. We're going to pop down a torch. Right, let's... I tend to mine outdoors as I go because that means you, you don't keep double-checking the same doors. Not had a lot of luck yet. This door... Oh, that's going down. We like doors that go down. Doors that go down... Oh, except when they've got silverfish that make you jump. And what happens when you kill a silverfish, they call their mates out when you hit them. And that basically means all the mates come out to try and have a go at you at the same time. And they gang up on you. They're right old bullies. So I've closed off that section down there just by putting a cobblestone on it. And that way I know that I've been here. I didn't like that up very well, did I? Let's open up this door. Doesn't look like there's even a... Even a chest in... Ah, oh, there is a chest. It was hiding. Anything in the chest? Oh, that's quite a nice book. I shall have that. Keep those books. Don't need those. I've got plenty of stuff to make books. This is the place I came right at the beginning, isn't it? There is a creeper behind there. can just shoot him in the feet. And I got him. Oh, poor creeper. See, the stronghold does continue through that way, so it's pretty important for me to carry on because chances are this is the place we need to be. Let's pop a light in there. What have we got? A couple of apples. I'll have the apples. That's not particularly interesting. Like that, like that. Nothing I can see behind there. So just advance slowly, he knows he's in trouble. He's actually firing it himself. There we go. Right, that's him done. Oh my goodness. So we've got what's probably a mine shaft that's within the that's within the stronghold that's quite interesting well let's come back up i'm not going to go up that way because you don't want to get stuck in a place like that there is that poor stuck creeper so i'm just going to shoot him in the head it's, it's really the kindest thing to be honest it's the kindest thing i could have done for him okay we've got a couple of creepers there we probably don't want that block the explosion and we'll be all right I've managed somehow to loop my way back to the start again. You can see that's where I come in. So I don't exactly know how how I've managed to do that. But obviously there's been some big loop that we've walked around. But I'm just checking. I have gone down all of these areas, haven't I? That's the one that I've blocked off. It's all getting very confusing. Extremely confusing. Right, so let's come back down here. Right, so is there any areas? I've not looked over there, have I? So, because so I went across that way, didn't I? So let's come across here. I can hear growling. I've, oh! Do you see that? That, my friends, is the portal. Oh my goodness, it was right near where I entered it as well. Goodness me. Is there anything worth having is an ender pearl there? Not a lot of use to me now, are you, mate? Right, let's just light you up. I can't believe that. It was literally, look, 
if I come up these steps, somewhere around there is where I came, look there, just there is where I came in. If I just come around and down, and down here, there's the portal, for goodness sake. I um, went and made some more torches. I went into the cave and mined out some of the um, some of the coal, and also uh, dug out some of the wood from that wood thing that we came across. And here comes. See that spawn. See this cage there. That's not a spider spawner like the last spawner we had. That is a spawner for silverfish. And it doesn't really make an awful lot of difference if you light them up because they don't care. You see, I just put a torch on there. It could not care less. So I'm going to... And because silverfish are really frankly useless, I have no issue with destroying this spawner whatsoever. Trouble is, because we're so close, you get hundreds of them coming, look. Literally hundreds of them. Right, so we're going to destroy this spawner because... Right, so that is one less spawner that we have to worry about. But what we have now got is no step. It's okay. That is not a primary issue. Right, so we've got this bit here. We are where we want to be. You'll notice that the portal is got a load of lava underneath it. You can see there. At the minute, it isn't an active portal is actually frankly quite useless but it will become very useful now if you remember I said I was going to put my ender chest down so as I could demonstrate to you that it's still got those bits and pieces in so let me just pop the ender chest down right here where the spawner used to be now I can't mine that ender chest out as an ender chest anymore because I need a silk touch pick and I don't have silk touch I'm just I'm feeling just a little nervous so I'm just gonna block that off just for now because it's not hmm, I just a little bit nervous so if I open this ender chest up now boom you can see it's got all the stuff that I needed inside it which was a bed and a normal chest I can now pop a bed down now the reason you pop a bed down it's it's fairly obvious really there is every chance that you are going to die when you go into the end. And if you die when you go into the end, you want to be respawning as close as you possibly can to the portal, right? So what you do is you sleep in the bed, and then when you respawn, you don't respawn spawn back at your base. You respawn here in your bed. Perfect sense. Right, now listen to the music, people. It's very exciting. It's like a steel drum. Look, you notice I've managed to get, yet again, an end portal with no eyes of ender in it whatsoever there are a random number of eyes generated in these portals anything from 0 to 12 and it is equally possible to get 0 as it is 12 if you think about it mathematically speaking I have never and I mean never had a portal with more than one eye in it I think that's proper bad luck right so we've now got 11 when I pop this in some big booming stuff's going to happen. And I have to be very, very careful. Because if I'm not very, very careful, I could fall in. And there's only one way out. The only way out of the end is to kill the dragon. Then you can come and go as you please. But the first time, you've got to kill that blooming big black lizard. And I am not remotely ready for that yet. And I reckon Frill and I will probably do it together. So here we go. Are you ready to make the portal? Boom. It's actually... Oh, it starts growling as well. Look at that. That's... To this day, I still get scared when I open an end portal. But the portal is open. And literally, we could go through to the end. But I'm not going to because that would be foolish. That's it. We're pretty much ready to go and sort the dragon out in terms of location. I just need to have the right resources with me to go and do it. And that, my friends, is a job for the next episode. Next episode... We're going to the end. We're going to take on the black lizard. We're probably going to get eaten, but at least it will be fun. If you have enjoyed that video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club.
and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.